what is up collective this is a general reading you guys okay keep in mind the energy is fluid all right time is not linear let's jump into the reading all right hope you guys are all doing well let's see what's going on what is it that my collective needs to hear today what are the messages that are vital for the collective at this time all right we, they really really wanted me to take that <laughs> so we have a jumper judgment it's in reverse that reverse princess of cups how you're being seen is oh the ace of pentacles what ten of pentacles in the center of the reading how they feel about you gosh i heard diamonds in the sky shine bright like a diamond shine bright like a diamond okay wow so you have the judgment card mirroring the justice card look at this justice on this end judgment on this end okay so wow and then you have the king of swords which is aquarius so you knew this was going to happen. You knew this was going to happen. Whatever this is, it's faded. It's, it's coming true. Something is coming to pass. You are there. I'm hearing you are. She has arrived. I'm hearing she has arrived. He has arrived with the two of wands in reversing the obstacle position um, with a full card. Yeah. Something. You know what? This is the North Node. This is energy. Of, this is surrounding the North Node. This is about your North Node because Aries is in the North Node right now. And this is in the obstacle position with the two of wands, which, which talks about being between worlds, which is the North and the South Node. Yeah. It's not easy being in the North Node. It's not easy living in your North Node. Purpose. But you did it. You're doing it right now. Either you're doing it right now or this is something that it's, it's faded, okay? It's, it's, this is inevitable, all right? I feel like, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, this is so, I'm about to cry. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. Look at all these fucking pentacles in the center of your reading and how they, they, they see you and how they feel about you. I feel like there's a fear. Yeah, the nine of wands in reverse. Okay, so, wow. The nine of wands talks about enemies being near, people being strategic. Are you having to be strategic surrounding your success? You don't have to be strategic because justice is on your side. It's in the reverse. The, yeah, the nine of wands is in the reverse. So you don't have to be strategic. The judgment card's in the reverse on this end, and then the justice card's on the upright on this, on this end, okay? The energy you're embodying is the judgment. Ooh, the judgment in reverse. So why do I get, like, this feeling? Because it says enemies may be near. Why do I get this feeling like you're telling your ancestors, you're telling the divine, your angels, um, please don't. Please don't go after these people. Because I feel like um, you're giving someone a chance here. I don't know I'm saying. Like, you're, you're giving people a chance to redeem themselves, especially if there's a female that's, like, emotionally manipulated with the queen of, uh, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I'm getting all the queens mixed up. The queen of cups is in the in the reverse with the queen i'm sorry the princess of cups i'm sorry you guys i'm sorry if i confuse you they're both water it, it's really piscean okay um i feel like you want to give your enemies a chance yeah you're giving them a chance here and you're, you're the, 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 uh, the divine is trying to like tell you no 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 because we already gave them many chances because there's stuff that you didn't see behind closed doors that these people were doing okay this is a very manipulative emotionally manipulative collective that was going against you with the nine of wands in reverse yeah and they're, they're sort of in spiritual court right now but i feel like you forgave these people i feel like you for, if you know who these people are you already forgave them you're moving forward and this is why you're getting the ace of pentacles this is why you're getting the ten of pentacles the nine of pentacles and the two of pentacles in the positions of how you're being seen and how they feel about you um you're very merciful and god is giving you all of these gifts i feel like you're gonna get a lot of gifts that are tangible okay obviously because of the pentacles the pentacles are things that are tangible so this is money this is a house this is a property for some of you this is something that's going to keep withstand the test of time with the two of pentacles with the two of pentacles and the ten of pentacles this is about your legacy something you're building from the ground up if you notice like this is a pyramid right it does give me egyptian like it's giving me that vibe like it's, this, this goes back to like the ancients okay something that you maybe something that's already built you are maintaining it okay this goes back to like the ancients so you guys are definitely with the nine of pentacles um i'm hearing the god thoth so you could be connected to the god hermes the god the god thoth or you have like gemini in your chart or you have virgo exalted in your chart you have gemini virgo arising okay so your chart is governed by mercury which is speed because Mercury is the fastest planet. So I don't know. I'm oh, man. I'm hearing acceleration. So you're being, something is being accelerated here. After, um, yeah, Aries is the fastest because Aries is the first sign, right? So I'm hearing when Aries season comes, which is, you know, it's already here. But I'm hearing something as late as April because, you know, Aries season ends in April, mid-April. So I'm hearing during Aries season, all types of, man, you're getting all kinds of new money coming in. you got new opportunities. You've got things that are coming in that you, you probably like, even opportunities. I'm hearing opportunities that were in the past. They're coming back around. And these, these are money opportunities. This is money. This is all money. This whole reading is money, 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 money. I'm hearing that song, money, 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 money. Okay, somebody's getting a lot of opportunities here um, to either, I'm hearing redeem themselves or somebody's getting a lot of opportunities here to reinvest in something. See, you're getting like the tools you need to make more money. That's what I'm hearing. So if it's not, if it's not something that's already well established, you're getting opportunities to establish something, okay? It definitely is talking about something you're building from the ground up. I do see something surrounding hair. So your business, I'm hearing something integrated into your hair business, okay? You could be um advocating for horses. I don't know where that came from. Someone is advocating for horses because they slaughter horses by the millions, billions. Yeah, 100 billion animals are slaughtered a year. Someone's advocating for animals in the beauty industry? Okay, so if you're integrating something here that is mission-based, you know, with the Nine of Pentacles, that's Virgo, that's the Sixth House, that's community, that's, you know, um, health, wellness, support, okay? That's humanitarian. Yeah, it's, it, it's talking, you know, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if you are, um, if you work for human resources for somebody here and you're integrating something in human races. Uh, I don't know, I just heard races. Okay, what? Okay, so you're integrating something in the black community that has to do with horses, okay? You are 
everything you're doing is mission based. You could be an African American woman. Okay, I'm hearing someone is African American woman who is um, they're going vegan. So one of you is going vegan. Somebody's going vegan and they're integrating something in their business. It's going to take the world by storm. I feel like this is going to be very lucrative. Whatever it is you're doing, because it involves saving animals. It involves saving their lives. Okay, because the beauty industry is really ugly, you guys. If you if you really want to like. If you really want to make a difference, if you really care, um, look at all like the stuff that they use to make hairbrushes. I'm hearing not hairbrushes, uh, makeup brushes. They use hairs, hair from every animal you could think of. It's crazy. I didn't even know that they use squirrels. Squirrels. I didn't even know that they were using. They're using squirrels. I didn't even know that. You guys, I, just, I looked it up the other day. I was like, oh my god, that's so fucking. That's so scary. That's so scary. Yeah, I feel like you could be advocating for this. If not, if you're not advocating for this, you could be thinking about doing this, and that is a, that is your confirmation to do it because it's it's not going to be easy. I heard I heard this is very hard because you got so many people who are you know um, blind. Mm -hmm. They all, they're just, especially in the beauty industry, it's a very ugly, ugly, ugly industry. Okay. It's actually really ugly. Um, I'm seeing you guys, you're advocating for these animals. You're advocating for wildlife. You're advocating. Yeah. This is the Aries North node. Yes. You could be doing this. If you have North node. Oh, oh God, this is crazy. I feel like this is a personal rating. Um, we have the, the King of Swords, which is, uh, Aquarius. Yeah. Talks about friendship. 11th house is friendship. So you have Aries North node in the 11th house where you have Jupiter Aries or Jupiter, um, Aquarius. Like you have 11th house placements or you have Midhaven. Or you can have, I'm also hearing um, a lot of exalted um, Virgo house. Okay, I'm hearing the sixth house. Okay, look at your sixth house. Look at where you have your sixth house. Okay, because I don't know what I'm hearing too. If you have like Libra sixth house, yes, I'm hearing Libra sixth house. Someone wants to advocate in the beauty industry. They want to do it right. Someone's like, I want to do this right. I love beauty. I love everything it stands for. I love beauty. I love everything aesthetic about it. But I don't think it should. Someone's like advocating and their, their speech is like on point. Yeah, whoever this is, I don't know why I'm getting like it's a sales pitch. Someone is going organic um not gmo um cruelty free i don't i'm seeing that here um you could be a libra or you have libra in your chart with the justice card okay yeah you're seeing like you're like i don't think that it shouldn't be at the expense of killing animals like i'm seeing someone here advocating for like a whole generation or i'm even hearing children okay with the princess of cups someone's advocating for children yeah um this is this this is the beauty industry or the industry itself okay you guys um anything i don't know i'm hearing anything someone is definitely advocating here and this is what's bringing more revenue into your business. Um, I'm also hearing for others of you, royalties. Okay, honey, if you have a YouTube channel or if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, now is the fucking time, honey, with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is reoccurring um, money. That's your, your older video, your older videos. Yeah, nonstop. I heard, and it don't stop. No, no, no. Somebody is getting like, yeah, royalties from videos they did three, four, five, six, ten years ago. And yeah, the ten, the ten, the double ten. Yeah, I'm hearing ten. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Oh my god, to have them both too, right over top of each other, it's 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 faded. It's like you are in, like, this is divine cohesion. This is aligned with who you are. This is your purpose. It wasn't easy. It's not going to be easy, okay? It's never easy to um, to be the first in any industry. It's not easy because you're going to have a lot of naysayers. But I feel like what you're doing is so amazing. It stands out, okay? It's so innovative. It stands out. Aquarius rules innovation. So does Aries, okay? Pioneering something. It's never easy being the first one. You can feel very alone in what it is you're doing, but it's so beautiful. It's, I feel like, being the first, it's going to be amazing for you because one, it's not saturated, right? You know, like there's a lot of tarot readers on YouTube. It's, it's become a very saturated niche. There's a lot of saturated niches out there. I feel like you're creating a lane of your own. Yeah. And that's fucking, man, to be the first, I feel like you're going to be a billionaire. Yeah. With the nine of pentacles. I know that's a stretch for some of you. You might, you might feel like, you know, if you're not, if you're a doubter here, if you're a doubter, if you're someone who doesn't believe in themselves, this is not your platform. This is not your channel because we do things out of worldly over here. We believe in ourselves. We believe we can fly. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I don't mean to be corny or anything like that, but like, you know, I just feel like we believe we can levitate. We believe we can teleport. Over here on this channel, we believe in the impossible. Okay, that's a lot, a lot of Piscean energy. This whole world, like when you understand the world is made up of Piscean energy, like architecture, everything is made up of Piscean energy. Everything is I believe. You know, somebody out there didn't believe in Jeff Bezos. Somebody out there didn't believe in, you know, Mark Zuckerberg. Somebody out there didn't believe, you know, people didn't believe in Steve Jobs. They didn't believe in him. They didn't believe in the, the person who owns Google. I have no idea who that is. But you know, they, these people, they started off in the garage. There's something here. I'm hearing, yeah, with the garage. Yeah, I'm hearing garage. There's a garage door. This is a garage door. Um, Somebody, yeah, somebody, they have to be the first. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of, you know, courage to go forward and be the first one to look crazy, to be the first one. Okay. Yeah. To be the first one, it, you have to look yeah, you just gotta look crazy. I feel like someone here is looking crazy as fuck, but whatever it is you're doing, it's going to bring, bring in so much money. It's going to bring in so much abundance. I feel like too, if you're protecting children, yeah, um, I'm seeing advocation, advocating for um, trafficking. I'm seeing you guys, you know, you're, you're working on something to stop trafficking um, women and children. I see you doing that, okay? You, this is, I'm talking to a really um, intelligent, high vibrational collective of beings here who really care about the universe, that really care about the world and helping and healing the world. They're not trying to break more shit, okay? I feel like you're healing yourself too. I feel like you're working on yourself first so you can heal others. So this is really beautiful, you guys, all right? Um, it does start with you, right? So you could be working on yourself. I'm getting a whole lot of sixth house energy, especially with the pentacles. It's like, it's giving me sixth house, sixth house, sixth house, also Taurus. So the second house, look at where your second house is. I'm only here and look at your fortune and look at your Jupiter, okay? Planet of expansion, luck, all right? Abundance, look at your Jupiter, okay? Let me get, let me get one of the affirmation decks. Let me see, let me see the affirmation decks. I'm gonna get one from here. We have our Star Wars. Affirmation deck from Jenny Miller. Thank you for sponsoring my videos with your amazing deck. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know I love Star Wars. Let me get one affirmation card for you guys. It's really hard to shuffle these cards. They're so big. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so they wanted me to take that, but maybe it'll come out. We'll get this one. Who's the more who's oh who's the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? Okay, holy shit. Okay, so wow, going back to the fool, we have the fool in the obstacle position. I feel like this is what people are saying. You're a fool. Like I feel like people would never follow you ever if their life depended on it. I feel like you're happy about this. Have faith in others, but don't follow them blindly. Trust your judgment to know when someone is a worthy leader. Okay, maybe this is calling you to. Yeah, we have the number six right here. Bringing down the number six. Breaking down the number six. Fifteen in the corner here. Breaking down the number six. I'm hearing community support. Okay, Virgo. Okay, you could be a shaman, a mystic. All right, this is telling you to be receptive of what you're allowing in your um in your energy. Yeah, be receptive of what you're watching, what you're consuming. Turn off that TV. Turn off this. Stop looking up to celebrities. I'm hearing that. Yeah, these people are not leaders. They're fucking. They sold out. That's what I'm hearing. Ooh, shit. This is a hard pill to swallow. Um, for some people out here who worship, I'm not gonna drop names because why would I do that? Um, but there's celebrities that people idolize, and I, I just heard. Um, yeah, be careful who you watch. Be careful what you do and who you follow. Be careful who you're watching, you guys, because they're they're hoodwinking you. They're lying. They're pulling a veil over your eyes. All right. Um, they're 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 bogarting your third eye. They're keeping your energy for themselves, and it, in in turn, it makes them more powerful. And it's the wrong people you want in power. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. It says, who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows the, follows him? So you may need to like detox. I'm hearing detox from certain accounts. I'm hearing specifically, you know, those who are in the music business. All right. Okay. Don't come for me. I don't want to hear it. But you know, I just saw a post the other day about rap music, and I love rap music as as much as the next person. But the the frequencies that they use. I don't know why I'm being led to say this. Maybe it's because I am a fucking leader. I don't know. But the frequencies they lose are, uh, lose, lose. The frequencies they use in that music is meant to throw you off. It's meant to cause, um, they, I just saw, oh my God, if I find a video, I will post it on my community tab so you guys can watch the video. But they literally had a meeting about doing this. They, they wanted more, specifically African-Americans. They wanted more of them jailed. They wanted them in prison. So they, they do a lot of like projection, subliminals in rap music to target the black community. So I just want to like, I just want to like, I don't know why I just, I'm being called to say this to you guys. The frequencies alone. Forget about the lyrics. The frequencies alone are meant to throw off your equilibrium, okay? They're meant to throw off your vibration and unalign your, um, push push your chakras out of alignment and make you very irritable, also violent, also very ill, okay? Yeah, so think about what you're watching, what you're following. Oh my God, I'm so scared to even say this because I feel like every time somebody speaks about this, they go missing. I don't know if I'm being watched by these elites, but you know, that was their whole game plan, all right? They had a meeting about it. Um, there's a lot of African-American uh, musicians, or I'm gonna say artists, um, not musicians, but yeah, they don't play the instrument. They, they obviously are artists, okay? That who, who sold out, they sold out and they actually knew what they were doing when they went into this business. Um, they knew what they were doing to their own community and they still sold out. So just so you guys know, those of you who follow these people, that I'm hearing that, that's what this card is coming out for. That's why this card is coming out, okay? I don't know who this is for. I don't know who this is for, but um, it's really sad. Actually, it's really, really sad, okay? But okay, going back to what I, what I was saying earlier about you guys building a legacy, it's gonna be very abundant. I feel like you guys, um, it's gonna be very lucrative, all right? So a lot of good energy here, a lot of, um, I feel like too, this, this is something you've been waiting for for a long time, 10 years in the making here. 10 years for someone, I'm hearing 19 years. Holy shit, the number 19 could be significant or you could have 19 degrees in Leo or Virgo. Okay, number 19. Okay, I heard, I'll be the one, I'll be the one. Number 19, yeah, it breaks out number one. Okay, oh my God. Oh, you got two ones here, oh my God. Okay, all right, we're gonna get about here. This is, oh man. All right, so there's a lot of messages um, for the collective and there's a lot of message for, messages for the people who are um, not really watching this channel. They're not really like subscribed to the channel yet, but yeah, they're saying you need to stop watching these people. Uh-huh. I heard it. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here. You guys, I love you. I hope it resonated. If it doesn't resonate, I hope you claim it. I hope you claim the message. I hope you own the message as your own. Okay. And you guys, I hope you subscribe. Check out your free personal readings. They're down below. They're the second, third, and fourth link. You guys check out the new merchandise. I love you.